Um, uh, Mr. Mark Warburton, good morning once again. So we go after um, normal time, the teams were locked, Mark. Then it was into extra time in, in absolutely intense heat and then a penalty kick shootout. Are you saying to me this morning, Mark, time to scrap extra time? That's my personal belief, Jim. I, I watched the game last night and extra time became just a slog for both teams. You yeah. saw players going out left, right and centre with cramp and the water breaks Charlie highlighted. I just think for me, at that stage of a season, players last night played 60-plus games, some of those guys on that pitch. In that sort of temperature, I think common sense has to prevail, Jim. And to maintain the quality and integrity of a competition, go straight to penalty shootout. Penalties itself is, is, can be a, a complete lottery. But I think for me, personal view, goes straight to penalties. Charlie, what do you think of that as a, as a player? Straight to penalty. Is it time for this? Yeah, and no, I think, I think um, it's important that... You know, we, they, they do make decisions. I think extra time, the game become diluted. As, you know, it's a major competition and uh, tournament, and um, the game became diluted when it went to extra time. A lot of, you know, cramps and stoppages, and you know, if you you walk off one one, and then it becomes a penalty shootout. And you know, listen, everybody's saying about here to zero. It's part of being in a big job. Mark's been in the job. He understands it's it's a it's a big big thing to to win trophies at Rangers, and you need to do that. But as a manager now, it's, it, the onus is on him now to go and pick his group of players up. Yeah, I mean, Alex, you and I were standing yards from uh, the Rangers players um, when they were w gathered in front of Van Bronckhorst before extra time began. And you said to me, they're out on their feet. And so are Eintracht Frankfurt. So Mark's argument makes sense. Um, I think we've seen a few games now. I was at the FA Cup final on Saturday and, and you looked at the body language of the two sets of players there and they were really just getting through extra time. There was no great determination to try and win the game. They were more fearful, I think, of losing it and, and not being able to take it to a penalty shootout. I'm with Mark, actually. I, I think you know we've seen in, in early rounds of the EFL Cup when you, you take away the extra half an hour, I don't think it loses much from the spectacle. And I think players and managers would probably rather go straight to penalties than play that extra half an hour, particularly uh, in the type of conditions we saw last night at the business end of the season. He's going to have to make changes for this Scottish Cup final because there will be some Rangers players who aren't physically or mentally ready for the weekend. But there's, there's, there's one man on this show that's recovered well. Go on. You know, Alex Crook looked like he was recovered well. He's pictures <laughs> on social media, the swimming pool. He's done his right recovery after his, um, <laughs> his efforts yesterday. You know how to recover, Mr Crook. Jim, um, uh, Jim if, if uh, I go may, on, Jim, Mark. Just, just to echo Simon's comments about you cannot say that Giovanni now goes from hero to zero. It's a magnificent achievement to reach that final last night. Let's not lose sight of that fact. And I think Eintracht Frankfurt, likewise, 13th in the Bundesliga. For those two teams, if I look at Rangers' budget, I said to Simon earlier, probably comes top six championship. They've made the Europa League final, beaten some big, big teams along the way. Um, and for me, let's not lose sight of the fact that he's done a remarkable job in, in, in achieving that. I agree with you, Mark, but Simon, you know what the like, the, there are some in Scotland who will say no, no, if he comes out with nothing at the end of this season, what's it all been about? Yes, they will, and they'll have some merit in that because they've got a Scottish Cup final. The consequence of losing this final in the circumstances they've lost it in, temperature and heat, and you, by the way, you can't legislate for tournaments being played in a hot country and some tournaments being, uh, having a final in a cold country. That can't be factored into it because you could play the Champions, the Europe uh, Cup final next year in a colder country and you wouldn't necessarily have the same drain on the players. If the general consensus in football, and I am, am ambivalent to it, if the general consensus in football is we don't want an extra 30 minutes to go straight to penalties, then that's the change that should be made. I get the impression that that's not the general consensus because after the FA Cup final, a lot of people were asked the same question, football people were asked the same question, and they came back with an answer that they would rather try and conclude it by open football rather than penalties. And of course and, you've and now... Sorry, so Go on, Charlie. Sorry, Simon, about the... Do you think then the five substitutes make a big difference? And that's so, what I was going to you know, say for, next. Yeah, and, and now we've moved, we've moved... Football's evolved. It's moved from having replays in FA Cup finals to ultimately conclusion on the day so that you don't have two games to get through. We've moved on from having three substitutes to five and six in extra time. So you're getting into the territory where everything is being put into place to try and combat it. But if football... Of course, the commercial revenues that people would have gotten last night for an extra 30 minutes of advertising would have been delightful for UEFA and the benefits of that will find its way back into football because there'll be more money around the place but notwithstanding that going on to your point Jim the consequence for Rangers now is they've got to pick themselves up and not compound losing this final and allowing the narrative to be that their manager is a failure by losing the Scottish Cup but the, the byproduct yeah. of losing the final on Thursday is that uh, Wednesday is their players are going to be knackered for the final 
So you've got six of one half a dozen of the other, haven't you? Yeah, for sure. I tell you what, Mark, it might be uh, easier said than done picking these players up after last night. It's, it's a huge body blow, Jim. The, the build-up to last night's game, what it meant to so many people around the world in terms of Rangers uh, and where they've been, you know, Jim, where they've been, Charlie, over the last 10 years to get back to this point, quite remarkable. But everything was geared towards success, taking a trophy home to Glasgow. So to have the game two days from now is a huge task for Giovanni and his staff, undoubtedly. But it's still silverware. It's still a chance yeah. to play in front of the blue, the, you know, the blue fans, and to, to show what it means to represent the club and to win silverware for the club. I've no doubt it's a tough task, but you've got options. Yeah. You've got the likes of Balogun, you've got Roof coming back in, Ramsey, etc. You've got good quality players to come in and freshen it up. So fingers crossed they get that job done. The and it also goes, Jim, to the point, and there was no merit in what he said because he didn't need to say it because it's completely untrue. No one let anybody down last night. So Lundstrom saying that, but don't don't win that Scottish Cup final because you can't pick yourself up. Then you start moving into the territory of people le alleging that you are letting people down because that's a final yeah, you true. can still yeah. win. True, true. So, Mr. Alex Crook, you're out of Seville and you're heading back to London very shortly. What's your lasting memory of last night? I think my lasting memory is not just of last night, Jim. It's the whole 48 hours being in Seville uh, amongst the Rangers and Frankfurt supporters. The atmosphere in and around the stadium was electric. The atmosphere inside the stadium was sensational as well memories that will last a lifetime but not to put too big a downer on things we were sat next to an ardent rangers fan weren't we and he said this means so much to rangers because this will probably never happen again because the gap financially between rangers and the rest of the elite european leagues is massive now and i think that's why so many rangers fans are feeling so deflated yeah. this morning but it, sure. they did their club proud safe trip home alex thank you so much uh, charlie brilliant job last night and cool commentary you enjoyed it? Yeah, no, it was it's brilliant. It's a new experience a for you, but you're, you're lapping it up, right? No, I'm enjoying it. It's um, something that I, I like to get into. It's, listen, it's a privilege to be able to get the opportunity to come to European finals. And the older you get and you, you're coming to the end of your career, it's um, very difficult to actually to be playing in one. So, no, to be commentating, go commentating on it was brilliant. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.